So from something lost to a chance to strike gold, 11 rare and very valuable coins were just scattered throughout San Francisco for a scavenger hunt today. I love scavenger hunts. The most expensive are worth $2,500 each. Can you imagine? So the coin collector who organized this treasure hunt tells our doll Lynn, it's a fun way to teach people about the city's rich history. Who's getting married? You guys! <laughs> as couples are posing and lean in for a small kiss right there and photographers capturing <laughs> treasure hunters are frantically yeah. searching at yeah. the iconic yeah. palace of fine art we even climb way up here about a dozen people looking at every possible hiding spot under the dome for a valuable coin here's the clue posted by the organizer it's on the pill <laughs> three dude and her boyfriend indy happened to be visiting from chico had no clue about the scavenger hunt until they saw a father and son team searching. He was like looking for something and we're like, what are you looking for? Because we thought he lost something. And he was like, we're looking for a gold coin. And we just started looking. Coin collector and owner of Witter Coins, Seth Chandler, came up with the scavenger hunt during this National Coin Week. Part fun and part history lesson about the importance of San Francisco in producing coins. I got together 11 coins and the total value is $10,000. They range from $250 to $2,500. And we've hidden them in 11 different neighborhoods all throughout San Francisco. Five gold coins, five silver coins, and one copper. The copper penny and the gold coin are worth 2,500 bucks each. All the coins are made right here in San Francisco. People don't realize that San Francisco, we're the king of mints. We've had three different mints. The first one was from 1854, second one was 1870, and the current one out in the Castro district has been making coins since 1938. Seth and his team put up 11 pictures as clues on their Instagram page exactly at 12 noon, open to the public, free. It has to be like somewhere over here. It has to be. And I don't know, I'm gonna find this thing. At 12.21 p.m., a scream of excitement. The college student who came to San Francisco for a Thursday night concert found it. They were supposed to go back to Chico right after the concert. Instead, they got a hotel and now a piece of treasure. It's like the coolest thing ever. And it's so like, it looks pretty old. It's like, it's really big. I was convinced it was behind one of these pillars. I looked at all of the pillars. And I came over here and I climbed over here and it was right there. I almost thought it was trash. I thought it was trash for a second and it wasn't trash. <laughs> Bree and Indy went to Witter Coin to thank them and received a history on their treasure. This coin was struck in 1910 in San Francisco mm -hmm. and uh, it's called the uh, Indian $10 gold piece. And it's a very famous US coin design. So these are actually called eagles. Right. This is a single eagle. eagle. There's a $20 coin, which is a double eagle. The value of the coin? $1,100. Bree says it more than covers their trap. I'm honestly at a loss for words. I've been since I found it. This is, a, you know, $1,100 that I wasn't expecting to get today. Witter Coin actually offered Bree $1,100 cash on the spot to buy back the coin. Bree says, nope, she'll keep that coin at least for a while. Great story. I'll let you in on a little secret, in case you're wondering. There is one coin that still has not been found. The details are on the Witter Coin Instagram page. So if you miss out this time, organizers plan on doing another scavenger hunt. They will announce the date on social media.